And I, millions of us have been hooked by the roller coaster romance between Marianne and Connell in BBC drama Normal People. Now, looking beyond the sexy scenes that have gripped many, oh, the, series, <laughs> <laughs> the series clearly shows how men and women communicate or perhaps fail to in the early stages of romance. But the unsung hero of the series for us is Connell's straight-talking mum, Lorraine, who isn't afraid to call out her son when she feels he isn't respecting Marianne. Oh, well, that's a you good see? bit. It's a really good... The bit in the car when she said she's ashamed of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that bit. I mean, and she this... gets out of the car and bangs the door. Yeah. And I need to, she says, I need to leave before I say something I'll regret. Yes. That's... And it was, it was... It made such an impression on me, because I read the book and I loved the book, but actually when I saw it I acted out, I said to Mark, wow, that is just the perfect example about a, of a great mother. Mm. And I know so... Well, a couple of my friends who, who who I think would always go to the boy's side. Really? And I've had boyfriends like that as well, where I just can't imagine their mum has ever said to them. And in fact, one boyfriend of mine, you all know him, blue boyfriend, his mum, in a way, I think because she was on her own, she used to almost treat him a bit like a platonic lover. You know, so everything was indulged and everything was lovely and I was the wicked evil um, girlfriend. And so I just thought, I just thought it was great. We don't often see that in drama. And I thought it was a really, it was an, another brilliant part, as we're not allowed to talk about the sex yet, um, yeah. of the show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you see, when I watched that bit, that is very normal to me, mums being like that. I was oh, just really? going to say, I'm, I, I'm surprised it was a topic because it was so normal to me. Oh, oh. you see, that's it. Maybe it's more, I was, because I thought maybe is that an Irish type thing? Maybe it's right. a Northern thing entirely. Because at home, my mom would 100% still call us out if we if she thought that we were doing anything that was inappropriate. Yeah. Or if I had, were to have a moan. What, what, what did he do? What did he do, Nadia? Because oh, I haven't said, seen it yet. That's a massive topic. Because you've not seen oh. normal people. What is wrong with you? Well, I, well because, because it's become a bit Game of Thrones in my mind, because <laughs> everyone's talking about it. And I got 20 minutes in and thought it was for young people, but I've heard that those performances Lovely. are sublime. And they so really I am going to revisit it. But as regards this topic, because obviously I'm only going on what we've said there, I have always called my two boys out. I mean, my life has been very much mm. do as I say, not as I do, because mm. I haven't, you know, anyway. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but as regards picking up my kids, there have been times over the years when I have much preferred their girlfriends to them. Really? I mean, absolutely. And if I thought that for one moment or, or, or witness that them disrespecting their girlfriend in any way, absolutely I would come down very, very hard on them and totally support the girlfriend. And I've done it before. And I've fallen out with both my children over the years because of that. Oh, good um, for you. Yeah, I have. Because well, what I a just brilliant want... mother-in-law you well, be. Well, you know, I mean, I... I, I there's a char the character Doll that I'm playing in Dunbreed in the web series yeah. that, that you've been oh, very so supportive brilliant. of. Doll, the character I play, her, her son Danny was in jail for assaulting his his um, wife, Wanda. <clears throat> As a result of that, Doll hates Wanda because she won't yeah. give him a second chance. Yeah. She draws a veil over the fact yeah. that, that, he, that he beat her, to, you know, beat her black yeah. and blue. He, she draws a veil over and it's like, but he's trying to make amends and she won't hear yeah. her side. And it's great, to, it's great to play that character, but, it's, but actually we were talking about it in rehearsals and stuff. And, and I said, I do know people like that yeah. who blindly support their children. Yeah. I will always support mm. my children. I always say, I love you unconditionally, but women don't have to love you unconditionally. Yeah. You I know, mean, having said all. all of this, I'd be terrible yeah. with my daughters. Um, if there's anything goes wrong with any of their boyfriends, it's always going to be their fault. <laughs> it's all the boys' fault. Always. <laughs> I do think, though, I, I think as mums, you know, as well, I think we, you definitely have to take the responsibility in regards to what we're and how we're teaching our sons to respect women. You know, my son's only... 10, 11 soon. And I'm I'm definitely constantly always speaking to him about how he must treat women and, and, and you know, how he sees men treat me and the same respect he has to have for his daughter. And I, I've, I've said to him very clearly, look, you know, there's certain words, unfortunately, that are labelled to, to girls when they act a certain way. But what you've got to understand is you as a boy can also get these um, same labels. You don't want to grow up and you've just had this girl, this girl, that girl, and people you might meet someone who you actually like but they don't want to be with you because you've just been you know the community boyfriend so it is about respecting yourself and having that same respect um 
to girls as well. So mm. I hope he listens. I spoke to someone, <laughs> um, a, a friend of mine, um, only, yes, only yesterday, and she said that um, she had a very traumatic relationship with her son's dad. And she said to her son, you can love your dad and you should love your dad as long as you know that that is not how to behave. Yeah. Because yeah. love is ca can be unconditional, but as long as mm -hmm. you know that that is not how to yeah. go on how he was yeah. with, with mm -hmm. you know, you can yeah. love somebody with, with without me. agreeing everything that they yeah. do. And at you? the same exactly. time, as I say, I mean, if I thought, you know, I've said before when there's girls, I've thought there was a girl, a particularly girlfriend that um, that you know one of them had years ago, and 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 I knew that she was controlling, and I would I would say I would say yeah. that you know the same thing. You're just very you're just honest and straight about it, really, yeah. and you'll call out whoever it is yeah. wrong. It doesn't have to necessarily be your your son.